Hello, and welcome to your evening meditation. Please lie down in a comfortable position so we can begin. Now, close your eyes and begin to relax. Perhaps you've had a particularly long day, so take a moment to release all of it. Take a deep breath in through your nose, expand your belly, and release the breath, exhale through your mouth. Feel the air leave your lungs and rush past your tongue, teeth, and lips. Imagine an enormous amount of gravity beginning to press you into the mattress. Starting with your feet, feel the heavy weight around your ankles, tethering you to the bed. Now your knees, thighs, hips. Imagine that same heavy weight to pull you deeper into relaxation. Your chest, your shoulders, heavy, heavy. Relax the muscles in your throat and neck. Now that you are good and relaxed, let's step into the dream realm. You are on a private beach. The waves rolling in and out, rhythmically soothing. The sand under your toes is warm and inviting. Wiggle your toes and feel the heaviness and warmth of the sand. You hear a gentle moan off in the distance. When you look toward the horizon, you see a whale jump out of the water for his breath of air. You too should take a moment to breathe. In. As the water sprays from the whale, you notice the sky looks rather dark and stormy over the vast, daunting ocean. You turn your back to it. However, what you see is not what you expect for a day at the beach. There are no people. No sticky children, no swimmers, no joggers, no tourists. There is no boardwalk, no dock, no lifeguard stands. Just sand and sun as far as the eye can see. Take a moment to truly feel the depth of your seclusion. Breathe in and out. The storm rumbles behind you. You can meet your fate with the storm and the tide and the mysteries of the ocean. Or you can walk on to find safety. Walking over the sun-cooked sand for so long begins to feel quite uncomfortable on the most sensitive skin of the bottom of your feet. You stop to bury your feet in the sand. 
the contrast between above and below the surface of the sand is like night and day. It's refreshing, but you must keep moving. You don't know where you're going, but you can't remain still. You slog ankle deep through the sand. Your feet no longer burn. However, it takes all your leg strength just to move forward. After walking for what seems like hours, your knees begin to ache and you notice your mouth is very, very dry. You turn around, hoping you haven't come too far. Maybe you could reach the rain. But there is nothing but sand and sun. While it is hot, you are not burning, just uncomfortable. What kind of dream scenario is this? You may be wondering as you keep moving. Thirsty, tired, sore, burning feet, sweat stinging your eyes. A large tree in the distance. You keep walking. An elephant's trunk grips and pulls the leaves. As you get closer, you see the entire profile of the elephant now, standing next to a pond. You must approach gently now, so as not to frighten the elephant. That would not be pretty. They say if you die in your sleep, you die in real life. You approach the other side of the pond while keeping a close eye on the elephant. Unbeknownst to you, the elephant already knows you're there. In fact, she's, she's been, been expecting, expecting you. you. When you get close enough, almost by cue, she looks at you and waves her trunk as if to say hello. The elephant then dips her trunk into the pond and pulls up a chalice. She slowly wanders up to you, offers you the ornate chalice filled with liquid. Your mouth is so dry, you reach for it greedily, and you barely notice or care how murky it looks. You drink, and drink, and drink. The chalice seems to replenish itself after every gulp. When you finally feel satisfied, you lower the cup and realize this isn't water. You notice the elephant is gone. You turn around and see the storm catching up. You walk closer to the pond to get a better look. It's full of dead bodies. A tingling sensation begins in the front of your brain. The tingling becomes burning at the same time you realize the water in the chalice is blood. Pressure builds at the point on your forehead between your eyes. It pulses pulses, pulses, in time with your own heart. You look at your reflection in the blood-filled chalice. You lock eyes with yourself. Suddenly you feel safe. Warmth radiates from your third eye. 
You are relaxed. You are at ease. Deep breath in and out. You sit underneath the large tree next to the pond. You watch the bodies float and the storm roll in. Tomorrow, you will wake up a brand new person. Good night.